very well. Let's call it 100,000 years that Homo sapiens been on the planet. I'm addressing the point about the non-overlapping magisteria, the, the, whether is it really true that there's an incompatibility between science and religion, or can they rub along? Let's help with the assisted suicide of this fatuous proposition <laughs> and show that there's a radical incompatibility. Let's assume that we've only been around for 100,000 years, in the course of which time people were born, most of them, a good number of them at any rate, a large, a high proportion of them dying in the process of being born, or killing their mothers in that process live for many, many, many thousands and thousands of years, probably not longer than two and a half decades, eventually dying either of their dentition, which they didn't understand, or of microorganisms that they didn't know existed, meanwhile conducting vicious and venomous turf wars with each other, almost invariably carrying rival fetishes into the fray to demonstrate their moral superiority over others, and that this went on with all its attendant misery and, and uh, gruesomeness, perhaps with a slow upward curve towards the magnificent mammals that we are today, <laughs> superb primates that constitute me. And that's how it looked, that's how it was. And heaven watched that with folded arms for 94,000 years. And then, about 6,000 years ago, it's time to intervene. <laughs> In or around Bronze Age Palestine, by means of various human sacrifices. Now, I, don't, I, couldn't, I couldn't, without difficulty, be brought to believe in a virgin birth. It would take a lot to make me believe in that. I, I do think, I, apparently, there is such a thing as parthenogenesis. I don't really believe in resurrection, though, according to the Bible, it was very commonplace at the time. <laughs> no big trick to it. Um, all the graves opened at the time of the crucifixion, and the inhabitants got out and walked around Jerusalem, according to St. Matthew. So what, what's so important about just one more? But um, I, I, would, I, would, I could be brought to believe in this. I, I can't be brought to believe in the hypothesis that I've just given you. That cannot be true. It cannot be true. It is flat out not true. And if it were true, it would mean, as all such religious hypotheses do, that we won that argument too, because that's either a very bad design, a very inept and stupid one, or it's a very wicked and evil one.